All on board for our daily encounter. World changer, get ready for takeoff. Five, I am a child of God, full of his Holy Spirit. Four, I am learning his ways. Three, I am made to encounter him daily and know him more. Two, I am walking in his favor and carry his presence with me wherever I go. One, I am a world changer. Changer, these are your captains speaking. We are here at Mercy Command to ensure that you are readying your spaceship as we encounter God today. That's right, World Changer. God wants to reveal a mystery to you today. Prepare for launch. This encounter is going to be wild. It's going to be out of this world. We are going to explore various lands and meet new friends as they encounter God with us, as we seek his heart and learn his ways. Ready, Captain? Ready. Ready, World Changer? Prepare for launch. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, we welcome you here. We ask for you to teach us your ways that we would know you and find your favor. Amen. Amen. World Changer, welcome to MC Kids World. You've landed on Encounter Mountain. I'm your guide today, and we have a big adventure ahead of us. As we encounter God together today, I want you to remember that we always enter his presence with thanksgiving. And we encounter God daily because we love him and we want to know him more. Let's pray as we enter God's presence and thank him for being with us on our adventure today. Father God, thank you for being a good daddy. We love you. Holy Spirit, we give you this room. We ask that you come with us as we encounter you today. Fill our minds, fill our bodies. Amen. <laughs>
Father, we thank you for your presence here with us this morning. As we encounter you today, we ask that you would teach us your ways, that we may know you and find your favor. Amen. Okay, world changer, are you ready? Let's go find my helper. My cattle, right there, ready to go. Looking for the map. Ollie, where's the map? Ollie? Hey, I was jamming. I could see that, but it's almost time for our world changer to be here, and we have got to get ready for our adventure today. Yeah, oh boy, oh boy, I didn't realize what time it was. Well, now that you do, could you help me find the map? Sure thing. Oh, wow. Thanks, Ollie. You're welcome. I'm super excited for today's adventure. I sure do love our encounters with God, and I wanted to tell you. Oh, yeah. Well, yesterday, I was visiting with Oscar the Otter, who was also all in for God. <laughs> and you know what happened to Oscar? What? Well, Oscar was building a boat, kind of like ours, but he got okay. hungry, so he took a lunch break. That sounds reasonable. And when he came back, his boat was ruined. It somebody, was... yeah, somebody ruined his boat. Oscar was really disappointed. He worked so hard on that boat. I'm so sorry to hear that, Ollie. Someone did something evil to your friend Oscar. Guide, what does God think about evil? Did you hear that? Grab the net. I got it, I got it. Whoa. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. wow! What could that mean? I don't know, Holly, but I have a feeling that today we will be learning all about what God thinks about evil. Hello, world changer! My name is Jubilee, but you can call me Jubilee. Welcome to Joy Jungle. We're here.
Uh oh. You know what, guide? What? Uh, I think we took a wrong turn. A wrong turn? How did that happen? Well, we've been following the map, but I just realized I've been looking at it upside down, and I'm the one who's been giving you the directions. Upside down? Yeah. Oh, How did that happen? I've just been thinking too much. Thinking about what? Well, last week on our adventure together, we learned that God had a place for Esther, even though she was an orphan. And just like Esther, God has a place for each of us. Right, that's a great memory. So, yeah, so I was thinking about my friend Oscar, you know, whose boat was destroyed. Yes. Well, tell me what happened next to Esther. Is there something that, that maybe that happened to her that could help me understand what God thinks about evil? Oh, Ollie, you weren't thinking too much. You were thinking just enough. Because what happens next in Esther's story will help us understand how God feels about evil. Alrighty, Almighty. Let's look deep into Rama River and watch our Bible story. World Changer, welcome back to the mighty empire of Persia, where King Xerxes ruled over 127 provinces. I am a proud and powerful king. The king was busy in his palace promoting one of his officials, Haman, to the highest position, next to the king, that is. What do you want? I am too busy trying to make myself great and powerful. The king had commanded all within the kingdom to bow down and give honor and respect to Haman. Now, everyone, show some respect. The people who were at the palace gates were bowing down to Haman, but Mordecai would not bow down to him. I worship the one true God only. This made Haman furious. Haman wanted to kill Mordecai for that insult. You will worship me. Through his rage, Haman investigated Mordecai and discovered that Mordecai was a Jew. This made Haman even more enraged. Haman decided that all Jews must be destroyed. The Jews must die. Haman went to the king Xerxes and said, Do you know that there are some people within your empire who do not obey your laws? It is not in your best interest to tolerate these people. If it pleases the king, I will pay 10,000 talents into the royal treasury and destroy these people. Now, King Xerxes was pleased with Haman's plan. He took off his signet ring, placed it on Haman, and said to him, Keep the money and do with those people as you please. The king's signet ring gave Haman the power of the king himself. Haman was thrilled, but little did he know that God hates evil. And his plan was just that, evil. A decree is sent out across the entire kingdom in every language, letting all know that all Jews, men and women, young and old, are set to be killed. Word of this news spreads like wildfire. When Mordecai hears this news, he tears off his clothing and covers himself in sackcloth and ashes because of the great injustice that is about to be carried out in the king's name. When Esther is told of Mordecai's sadness, she sends clothing for him, but he refuses to put them on. Mordecai was too busy crying out to God on behalf of the Jewish people. God, hear my cry! Mordecai sends word to Esther that she must go into the king's courts and ask him to stop Haman's evil plan. For Mordecai understands that God hates evil. Esther replies to Mordecai, explaining to him that anyone who goes into the inner court of the king without being called will be put to death, unless the king stretches out his golden scepter to them. Then, and only then, will they live. Mordecai responds once again, saying, Esther, not even you will be able to escape this injustice. As a Jew in the king's palace, do not keep silent, for you were born for such a time as this. Esther sends word back to Mordecai, telling him to have all the Jewish people fast and pray on her behalf for three days. Esther knew that she needed God's favor. All of the Jewish people joined Esther and Mordecai in this fast. Esther knew what she had to do, and she also knew she might die because of it. If I die, then I will die. However, Esther knew that she had to respond to this evil plot, and the Lord was with her because 
God hates evil. Just like my friend Oscar experienced something evil happening to him, the Jewish people were about to have something evil happen to them. That's not good. You're right, Ollie, it's not good. But we have to remember, God had a place for Esther and all along was planning on using her to stop the evil from happening. It's so important that Esther paused to fast and pray, asking God what to do next. That's right. World changer, does this remind you of anything you've seen or experienced on Earth? How's your day going? Hi Sarah, it's going really well. How are you? How's your second day of school? Well, I wish people were more kinder, but my day's going especially good knowing that I have my own place. Oh, well that is not very kind. It was unacceptable. Boys and girls, I think we need to be reminded of something. Sarah, why don't you go ahead and sit at my desk? We are full of the Holy Spirit, right? And when we're full of the Holy Spirit, we need to be reminded of His truth. <coughs> God hates evil. God loves righteousness and justice. And this kind of behavior is not acceptable. This is why we need to be having our daily encounters so we can be learning his ways. Yes, yes Miss Spirit. Spirit. Yes, Miss Spirit. Hey, I'm sorry. I, that wasn't very nice. I, I thought it would be funny. I wanted to make everyone laugh. Will you forgive me, Sarah? I'll forgive you. Thanks for apologizing. Hey, there's a brand new desk, and the principal said that this class might need it. Do you all need one? Yeah! Hua! Yeah! Hua! Hello, world changer! Or should I say leader? I am Najid. Welcome to Leader Valley. Now here at Leader Valley, we house those who want to grow as a leader. You are a leader. I am a leader. Now, I'm working on a combination that I just can't quite master. It's called authenticity. Allow me to exhibit. We don't do... Oh, oh, we don't do fake. See... Now, if I told you I mastered it, I wouldn't quite be authentic. I would be fake. Now, as leaders, we don't do fake. We do authenticity. For example, I choose to be honest to God, to myself, and to you. You see, we create an atmosphere to be open and honest by not hiding anything from each other. So we choose to be authentic. Now I need your help. Would you help me master this combination? Authenticity. Wonderful. Ready position. Let's do it. We don't do but we don't do fake. All right, didn't quite get it there. One more time, leaders. Ready position. Leaders, lead. We don't do oh, fake excellent we're much closer now this is a hard combination to master but it is necessary to be a great leader leaders lead 
I love to craft. I love to dance and sing and craft. Oh, hello, world changer. Welcome to Creative Creator, where we are creative. Because a creative creator made us to be creative. Woo! I'm Clementine. Welcome. Sometimes creativity looks different for all of us. Sometimes we like to sing, and sometimes we like to dance. And sometimes we like to rap. I'm not very good at that one. You can do better at home. And sometimes we do poetry. There once was a rock and it was big. And sometimes we act. Something, something, something. And sometimes we make film. And sometimes we paint. And sometimes we draw. There's so many creative expressions. And I'm so thankful you're here today for us to do our craft! Join me. Welcome back to craft time, where we're going to do a really fun craft, and I'm very excited. Today at craft time, we're going to make some very special characters. We're going to make puppets, so we'll need a popsicle stick. La 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 la! And we will need our characters, here they are. Hello there, hi, how are you? Oh, hi, I'm great. Oh, and we'll also need some safety scissors. These don't look safe enough, but scissors and a glue stick because we will be gluing. And of course, colors, 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 colors. We love coloring. So first, we're going to take our characters and we're going to color. As you can see, we have some very special characters. So I have some very special colors. It's very exciting. Look, I'm doing double coloring. Wow! So once I'm done coloring, I'm going to cut out my characters so that they can become, you guessed it, puppets. So cutting, cutting, cutting. Some of these angles are kind of hard, so don't feel like you've got to cut perfectly. That's okay. So once we have our characters cut out, and colored, we're going to glue them onto our popsicle stick. So even though this king isn't quite finished being colored and cut, it'll look something like this. And then they will be finished and they will dance around. La 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 la. They will have so much fun and we will have fun playing puppets. Thanks for joining us at Craft Time. Okay, guide, I've got the map facing the right direction this time. I can clearly see that we need to head south in order to get back to Encounter Mountain. Ollie, are you sure? Oh, good golly, Great Molly, you bet I'm sure. Okay, we'll go south. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, watch out. Watch out. Oh, Ugh. wow. Whoa. Okay. What in the world? Oh, would you look at that? It's a big leaf. And it actually says God hates evil. Whoa, man, you're right, he does. We saw that today in our Bible story and Joy Jungle and in Leader Valley. Oh, Ollie, you're absolutely right. God hates evil. And remember, he's given you a place and me a place and our world changer a place so that we can bring justice. Yep. I just can't wait to find out what's gonna happen on our next adventure together. Wow, World Changer, what an adventure we had together today. I love learning God's ways and his mysteries. Let's pray and thank God for all that he taught us today. Father God, thank you for teaching me your ways. Holy Spirit, thank you for leading me, guiding me, and revealing mysteries to me. I pray that you are with me all week as I continue to learn all that you have for me. Amen. Hey, world changers. We're gonna posture our hearts to worship the Lord. He calls us sons and daughters, so we just say, Holy Spirit, you're welcome in this place. Show us who we are and who you are. 
Show us who you are Show us how you love us Before I spoke a word You were singing over me You've been so good You have been so, so good Before I took a breath, you breathed your life in me. You've been so kind to me. You've been so, so kind to me. I know the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me. Don't deserve it Still you give yourself away And all oh, the overwhelming Never-ending Breathless love See, there's no shadow There's no shadow you won't light up Mountain you won't climb up Coming after me There's no wall you won't down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me, there's no mountain, there's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me, there's no wall, there's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me, there's no shadow, there's no shadow you won't light up, Mountain you won't climb up Coming after me Oh, I know it's true love There's no wall you won't kick down Lie you won't tear down Coming after me yeah. There's no shadow you won't light up Mountain you won't climb up Coming after me Oh, God, you're faithful There's no wall you won't kick down Changer, this is your captain speaking from Mercy Command. Now, remember, God hates evil. Now, everything God made, he called good. And when he made you, he called you good. So in you, there is goodness. Now, God hates evil or anything that is unholy or not like him. God created you to bring goodness, to bring holiness. Now, one of the most important things we can do as a world changer is to repent. Repent means to be sorry for something unholy we have done or said and to change our heart towards God to obey. So go ahead and put your hands on your heart. 
And now close your eyes and repeat after me. Say, Holy Spirit, I give you permission. Search my heart. Show me what I need to repent and be sorry for. Now, world changer, as your eyes are closed and your hands are on your heart, we are going to give the Holy Spirit a minute to speak to us. And he may show you and reveal to you something for you to be sorry for. And all you need to do is say, Father, forgive me for that. Now, world changer, your mission this week is to bring goodness and holiness wherever you are. So when you feel or notice evil, something that's unholy or not of God, you will do this. Holy Spirit, I welcome you in this place. For example, you may have a moment where you feel upset or angry in your heart towards your parent. So what you will do is take your parent's hand and close your eyes and say, Holy Spirit, I welcome you in this place. World changer, this week, you are empowered to say, God hates evil. Five, I am a child of God, full of his Holy Spirit. Four, I am learning his ways. Three, I am made to encounter him daily and know him more. Two, I am walking in his favor and carry his presence with me wherever I go. One, I am a world changer.